Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all having an awesome Monday. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. Today's set is a classic town build. Set 1682, the space shuttle from 1990. So stick around to the end to hear my review and let's get started. So here we have the completed build and this set actually came from the bulk lot purchase of town lego i got a couple months ago and i didn't initially include it in the last video i did from this lot because i hadn't originally planned to complete this set i have gotten parts of this set in the past and for whatever reason, I really thought the sticker parts for this set were more expensive than they were. And so when I got this partial set, it didn't have most of the sticker pieces. So initially I was like, I'll just part it out. But I double checked on BrickLink and either I had just misremembered or I was thinking of a different set, I'm not sure, but they were actually really affordable. So while it was missing the majority of the sticker pieces, they were pretty inexpensive to get. So I went ahead and decided to complete this set. I think I only had to order from two different people to get all of the ones that I needed. One of the sticker pieces that it did actually have that is probably the most expensive from the set is the torso for one of the minifigures has a sticker on it. And so I actually lucked out that that was one of the ones that was already in this set. And then I had a couple of them already and then I ordered the rest. So really excited to have this set now, especially since I didn't think I was going to be able to complete it. It's like almost getting a bonus set out of that lot. I probably spent, I'd say less than $15 between the two stores to get all of the pieces and that included shipping. So not too bad in my opinion for a set that is actually going for about 80 couple dollars to get a completed copy of this set. So to complete it for, you know, 
10 to $12 was not too bad. So really excited about that. So I'll start with the minifigures first. You get two of this little guy, very classic town torso here. Love these. So two of this minifigure and then one of the NASA spacemen. And the sticker is actually in awesome condition, so that's super exciting. So three minifigures, 380 couple pieces for the entire set. So I will actually say that this took me probably a lot longer than a lot of the other town sets to build. I don't know if it was just my copy of the PDF instructions that was hard to read, but there were a couple spots where I really could not see what was going on in the picture. And so it took a little bit of maneuvering to figure out what I needed to do. And that was mainly with the two by two kind of hinge piece, those hinge pieces. They were really hard to see in the instruction manual. So I'd have to like go back and forth between just like regular plate bricks. And then I'd realize that it was a hinge. And so a lot of that was off camera where I was trying to figure out what was going on because it was a little bit complicated or at least difficult to see. Like I've said in previous videos, the instruction manuals they did for these older sets are just a lot harder to see. They put a lot more pieces in per, you know, little section. The manuals would a lot of times only be a few pages because they'd have you putting in a ton of pieces on each section. So we have this little vehicle here is super cute. It's got four tiny NASA stickers. So two on each side. But a really nice basic four stud build vehicle. I like the use of the blue and white in contrast to the red and white. Very patriotic so that's really cool. I do like the side of this structure. These really cool lattice pieces are nice. I've gotten tons of those over the years. They're always in bulk lot purchases that I get from this era. I think they were used in some other sets, maybe some pirate sets if I remember correctly. Um, not necessarily in red, but in some other colors. But a really cool piece and it really stacks it up large quickly by doing it that way and just adds some great texture with those lattice patterned pieces. I did have an extra string. so. A bulk lot purchase I made when I was in high school had these little cards with string on them and there were probably 20 or 30 of them in that lot and I've been using them on sets over the years that haven't come with strings or have come with broken strings so I used that one because the string was broken that had come with the set and so it's been really nice to have those I only have three or four left by now but anytime there's a damaged string, it's nice to have an authentic string to replace it with. So this also moves here, which is pretty cool. You can come around. I guess that's for like working on the structure, working on the spaceship. I'm not exactly sure, but a really cool movable part. I love these, you know, kind of three by three corner panel pieces that are in a lot of sets during this era. Although I don't remember them in white. I don't know if they come in white in any other sets, but really cool to see them in white. This at the top also moves. So here's the spaceship itself. Very cool United States sticker parts on each side, as well as two tiles that also have that United States print and then the little additional rocket says NASA on the side that's pretty cool so that does detach and you can hang that directly on this piece here so that's pretty cool and then this does also open up in the top on both sides You've got a nice interior and then I assume this is some kind of little satellite that you can launch into space once you're up there. A little piece there to help you launch it. That was a structure I had a lot of trouble reading the instruction manual for. But a lot of great movable parts. Just a really cool looking build. I like the use of these 
black barrel. So those are just like classic barrels that they've used, but they're in black on the back side here. I don't know if they come in black in other sets. I assume probably at least a couple. I have not looked. I could be wrong. Um, but I've never had a set that had black barrels before. So it's kind of cool to see them in a different color there. I always like when they use parts like that in alternate ways than what you would traditionally think they should be used for. So instead of creating a new piece altogether, just repurposing a classically used piece. So a really nice build. I'm really impressed with this set. Like I said, it was really exciting to be able to get an additional set out of that lot, especially, you know, a large and more expensive set. But this is a really cool build. I will be hopefully getting the instruction manual in the not too distant future because it does make it easier than trying to use downloaded PDF files. But a really fun build, a classic set of the 90s. It is, you know, 80 plus dollars, at least on Bricklink, so a little more expensive, but I definitely think it's a set that's worth owning, a really cool set. So if you have the opportunity to get it at a good price, I definitely recommend checking this set out. For watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. See you next time! If you'd like a t-shirt like the one I'm wearing, go to my webpage link in the description and click the merch button.